Palestine's President Mahmoud Abbas is set to appoint Mohammad Mustafa as the new Prime Minister, as reported by Al Jazeera. Mustafa, 70, is the current chairman of the Palestine Investment Fund and previously held positions as Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Economy. Outgoing PM Mohammad Shteya resigned on February 26 due to escalating violence in the occupied territory and Israel's incursion in Gaza. Meanwhile in Gaza, Israeli fire killed six Palestinians and wounded many others as they awaited aid trucks. The conflict has displaced most of Gaza's 2.3 million population, leading to chaotic scenes at aid distributions. Palestinian health authorities reported over 100 Palestinians shot dead by Israeli forces while waiting for aid near Gaza City. However, Israel attributed the deaths to overcrowding around aid trucks. Furthermore, Israeli forces conducted raids in the occupied West Bank, arresting individuals and breaking into homes. Homes were ransacked, belongings destroyed and money stolen. The U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee assigned its subcommittee on the Middle East, Africa and Central Asia to conduct a hearing on Pakistan's democracy future, slated for March 20th. It will explore U.S.-Pakistan relations post-February 8 elections. Donald Liu, Assistant Secretary of State, South and Central Asian Affairs, will testify. His alleged involvement in a cipher controversy adds weight to his testimony. The Pakistan Tehlik Insaf alleges Liu threatened to destabilize their government during a 2022 meeting with Pakistan's former ambassador to the U.S. The issue is frequently raised in State Department briefings, but this missed as unfounded. Having Lou testify reflects the department's intent to clarify its stance. PTI's U.S. chapter claims Pakistani-Americans' persistent efforts led to the hearing announcement. The bipartisan hearing is expected to attract significant Democratic and Republican attendance. Prime Minister Shabash Sharif praised Qatar's role in promoting peace in Gaza during his meeting with Ambassador Ali Mubarak Ali Isa Al Qatar in Islamabad, according to Radio Pakistan. He emphasized Pakistan's strong relationship with Qatar, highlighting potential growth in economy, trade, and investment. Expressing disappointment over ongoing violence in Gaza during Ramadan, the Prime Minister extended an invitation to the Emir of Qatar to visit Pakistan officially, with hopes of strengthening bilateral ties. Ambassador Isa Al Qatar thanked the Prime Minister and pledged to enhance cooperation between the two nations.